Ladies and gents, welcome to the Ref Check. Isn't that a lovely color? This is not because the manufacturer went crazy overnight. No, this is a prototype car and that's why it's still camouflaged. So you cannot tell how it will look like in the end. The new Opel Astra L and that car will only come onto the market in the beginning of 2022 and we get to drive it today. The Astra is one of the most popular Opel models and has been around since 1936, but back then it was named Cadet. The name Astra emerged in 1991. So the first thing we need to talk about, of course, is what is a validation drive. As I mentioned in the beginning, the car is not yet completely ready. There are parts of it that are ready, for example, the drivetrain and the suspension, and there are other parts that are not yet fully finished, for example, the steering. And then what Opel hopes for is that we will give them a feedback of what we think about the car while driving it. So let's talk about the steering. In my opinion, it is a little soft. That is quite nice if you want to park the car or have to turn around on small in a small tight space that's nice because you don't need a lot of force to turn the steering wheel but i could imagine if you're driving on the highway that feels a little too soft i miss the contact with the road somehow but just just a little a tiny little bit so maybe they will change that and add a little more stiffness to the steering in the finished car. After the test drive, we talked to some engineers and they confirmed that the steering will be adapted in the upcoming finalization process, as we were not the only ones that found it too wobbly. Other journalists shared the same impression. The guys at Opel are quite funny. I mean, everyone knows Opel models that come onto the market will have the new Opel visor. And if you look at the headlights, you can also tell this car will feature it as well. But they decided to put like these ribs right here. But let's be honest, Opel, we know it, you know it, everyone knows it. This car will feature the new Opel visor. Some design elements can already be recognized under the camouflage. The new front is reminiscent of the Mocha, and the rear will probably also get the characteristic kink under the taillights. The dimensions of the new one are almost identical to the previous model. It's four millimeters longer, 15 millimeters lower, and has a 13 millimeter larger wheelbase. The trunk volume also remains the same at 422 liters. The thing that is finished as well are the seats. And I have to say those are quite comfortable as you know it from Opel. Most of their seats have a special certificate for their healthiness considering your back. So I guess the new Astra will have these seats as well. And yeah, I really like them. They are also quite good at holding me in place, in curves. I could imagine if you are a little wider, then you will miss some of that stability the seat gives you. As you can tell, the interior, there is almost nothing we can see. Most of it is not yet finished, but what you can tell is that there are some nice buttons at the steering wheel for the frequently used functions. And that part right here reminds me somewhat of the Opel visor as well. So it's very nice you have that in front of the car and in the interior as well. We were able to take a look at the photo of the finished interior. The dashboard is no longer as high, and is elegantly designed. The entire cockpit looks like it's made of one piece and very clearly laid out. Let's talk about the drivetrain as this is one of the most important new features for the new Astra because it will be available as a plug-in hybrid in two different versions. Right now we are driving the smaller version with 180 horsepower, so a combination of a regular combustion engine and an electric motor. And I have to say, 
it feels quite sporty. So if you step on the gas, the car will shift back and then accelerate. The e-motor will support the combustion engine and that feels quite good and quite sporty. The new Oster will come with a head-up display and 360-degree camera system. Talking about sportiness, it is no problem to drive rather quickly in curves with the new Opel Astra. It feels safe at any time, but you don't have the impression of lacking comfort if there are bumps on the road. So it's really nice. Before driving that car, I quickly took the old Astra K, that is the model that you can still buy right now. And with its 145 horsepower, it is not exactly sporty. And that one with the 180 horsepower, and what's even better, there will be the 225 horsepower hybrid version later. That feels way more sporty than the old one, so that is pretty nice. So I'm not sure if you can hear this, but let me put on the indicator for you. This sounds like a little hamster hitting a plastic bottle with some tiny drumsticks. <laughs> I'm sure this is not the final sound they will, they will use for the new Astra, but <laughs> this is what I thought when I first used the indicator. I was like, wait, what? Opel told us that the new Astra will have a special coating on the windshield that shall improve sound quality in the interior. And I have to say, I feel this does really work. We're driving like 100 kilometers an hour right now and it is very silent in here. I like it very much. Overall, the handling is good and seems to be better than the old one thanks to the 13 millimeter longer wheelbase and the stiffer body. In addition to our test model, there are the 1.2 liter turbo three-cylinder gasoline engines with 110 or 130 horsepower and a 130 horsepower diesel with 1.5 liter displacement. There will be an eight-speed automatic and a six-speed manual transmission. The validation drive is over and I have to say I had a lot of fun driving that car because the hybrid drivetrain, even though it's the smaller one, is up for a lot of fun. I saw the interior, which unfortunately I cannot show you, but it looks really good. I guess you guys will like it as well. And the only thing that's left is the exterior design, but we will see that in a few weeks. There's still a little bit of fine tuning to do, especially when it comes to the steering and its feedback. But this prototype already shows a solid basis for good comfort and sportiness. Besides the steering, the only other downside in our test car was the indicator sound. Let's hope this one will not make it into the series production car.